everyone, welcome to Team K Fitness at Home. I'm Coach Elena and I'm about to take you through a 30 minute lower body strength workout. Just remember before we get started, all workouts provided are intended for our Team K Fitness members. If you're not a member of Team K Fitness, that's okay. We hope you enjoy the workout. Just make sure you do this at your own risk. All right, so before we get started this workout, let's go ahead and head down to the ground for a few stretches. So you'll need a mat today if you have one. Um, also a medium and light weight. Um, you can also use a kettlebell. You'll see me using that a little bit throughout today's workout. Um, so a few different options, a weighted object, or you can do everything we do today, body weight as well. So we're gonna go through and make show you a few different options to make this the best workout for you today. All right, so let's head down to the ground, let's do a few stretches. So we're gonna start with a kneeling hip flexor stretch. We're gonna have our left foot, or your right, whichever one's your favorite, forward, we're gonna be in a kneeling position. We're gonna go ahead and tuck those hips back, create a little bit of more space in the hip right here. We're gonna sink it forward, opening up the hip flexor. Just take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, we're gonna sink it back, open up that front leg, getting a nice hamstring stretch, so straighten that leg out, keeping a soft bend in the knee. You can point those toes up for a further stretch. Again, take a deep breath in, exhale. Okay, we're gonna come back in this position. We're actually gonna place both hands down on the ground next to that foot. We're gonna pop up. Nice little spider lunge plank right here. Open up those hips. Let's circle it a little bit around. Let's do about three to the left and three to the right. Perfect. All right, we're gonna set that leg down. All right, we're gonna bring those hands back up. We're gonna switch sides. So now we're gonna bring that right leg forward. We're gonna tuck those hips. Sink it forward. Should still be able to see those big toes up front. Take that nice deep breath in for me. We'll sink it back. Open up those toes. You can place your hands down to the ground for some support. Be careful not to go too deep into the stretch. Or only go to where it's comfortable for you. Come back up. Place those hands down next to that foot. Tuck that toe under, pop it up. Circle around for three, two, one, and let's switch. Three, two, one. All right, so let's go ahead and take that right leg back. We're gonna reverse inchworm back up. Another great way to stretch those hamstrings. Slowly roll it on up, nice and easy. All right, let's go ahead and place those hands on the hip next. We're gonna have soft knees, feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a few hip hinges here. Just keep that core tight. We're gonna take a nice space, we'll keep that back nice and flat. Stretch those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes to pull you back up, okay? We're gonna do five here. Bring it down nice and easy. Keep the eyes along with the neck, nice extension of the spine, nice and neutral. There we go, I'm shooting from the side here. So we're keeping those knees soft. Then the hips back, so keeping that core engaged. We're gonna dig through the midfoot, squeeze the glutes, come back up. We got one more right here. Nice little, little good morning stretch right there, that hip hinge. All right, the last part of that warm up, let's go ahead and bring those feet a little bit wider. Let's take it down into a low squat. We're gonna come down as low as you can, or just open up those hips a little further. You can place those elbows on the inside of those knees. You can open up just a little bit. Give those inner thighs a little stretch here. Nice deep breath. Woo, let's get ready, bring those arms up. Stand up, squeeze. Oh, we did it, woo. We're nice and warm, we're ready for that workout. All right, so we're gonna start off. Um, we're gonna go two rounds. We're gonna go straight through um, exercises on one side, and then we're gonna switch to the left. So we're gonna go through about six um, sets of 45 seconds, but we've got three moves, okay? So let's start, we're gonna take the right leg. Let's go ahead and grab a weight or two. I'm gonna start with my kettlebell, okay? You also can have that medium-sized weight ready. This first move is it has a lot of movement to it, okay? But we can break this down to whatever you need. So we're gonna start by having that weight on the right side, okay? We're gonna take a lunge back with that right leg, okay? We're gonna come, we're gonna drop that weight off, we're gonna bring that knee up, kick, back down, pick your weight up, step it in, 
Okay? So make sure that one more time. So you're going to step, lunge, drop the weight off, bring that knee up, kick, bring it down, step it in. Okay? Quick couple things to note here. Weight is optional. Okay? You can do just a reverse lunge and step it in. You can break this down however you need to. You also can do the lunge. You can just do the knee drive. You don't have to do the full kick. Okay? Maybe try that kick on that second round. So 45 seconds, we're going to start on that right leg. Go ahead and grab that weight. Ready, set, here we go. So let's take it back, drop your weight off, bring that knee, kick here, optional, come back, grab your weight, press it back in. Step, drop it off, kick, back in. We're dropping those kids off the school right here. So making sure we get a nice split lunge here. Keeping core tight, this is also working that core, working on some balance. You got this. It's a big step, take that weight up. So we're having a little core stability, so keep that core tight. Big lunge, knee, kick, bring it down. Last one here, we can do this. And time. Good work. All right, so we're gonna still keep the weight in this right hand, our second move. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So from here, option one, we're gonna come forward. We're gonna pass that weight back down. You can tap that foot down or you can try to challenge yourself and keep that foot lifted. I'm gonna go ahead and tap my foot back down. My balance is on this point today, so we're gonna step that foot back in, or you can lift side to side, bring that leg through, and then take it back again. 45 seconds on this right side. Ready, set, and go. So we're gonna plant that heel, that big toe, and that pinky down as you extend. Now, depending on how far that leg comes back, it is up to you. We are trying to stay square here. In this position. So when you come down, be really careful not to open away from you, okay? So try to keep the square, the hips square as possible. Try to keep your balance. Again, this is also incorporating some core stability training here. Woo. And if you lose your balance, that's okay. If you need to be on your, your couch close by, you can have that just in case. Don't be afraid to tap that foot back down. You can also do a little kickstand, pass your weight, and come back up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Okay, set that weight down. All right, so this third move, this is going to be involving both sides. So we're going to move side to side. We're going to add a little lateral movement here. We're going to do a lateral step squat, okay? You can keep that weight close by here if you want. You can add a little press onto this move, okay? We have 45 seconds right here. Again, grab those weights if you need them. All right, 45 seconds. Ready, set, and go. So step, press that weight out as you come down to that squat. So use that core. Send those hips back. You also can step right here. Add a little weight up top. Having your weight in the front is going to help you keep that chest lifted and prevent you from going forward in that squat. So keep those shoulders back and down, side to side. Send those hips back first. You've got it. So keep breathing. Come on. In three, two, and one. Woo! Just a quick, quick note on those side steps. Make sure you're not taking too big of a step. We want to stay about within those shoulders each time. So I have to challenge it itself to keep that similar distance. Grab water, towel off, whatever you need to. I'm going to grab a quick drink to hydrate. Then we're going to do those same moves on the left side. So we've got that reverse lunge, drop off, and the kick. So in this set, go 
go ahead and do the same you did on that right side originally. Create that balance. And then that round two, you can try to change it up a little bit. All right, so remember, we're gonna start with that weight in the hand. Take a step back, drop the kids off, kick, back down, grab the weight, okay? So when you're pushing through, push the leg into the front to bring you up, push that foot in the front to bring you back up when you have that weight. 45 seconds in three, two, and go. It's a big step, drop it off, add that kick or that knee drive. Still working on creating that stability. Ooh, I did a little extra knee there. There we go, step it in. This one does let you reset here. And you don't want that weight with that knee drive or that kick. It's gonna add a little bit more challenge, but listen to your body here. There we go. Woo. See how I gotta really use my core to control? You got it, last one here. And rest. All right, move number two. We've got that single leg deadlift. This time we're starting the weight on that left leg. Left leg is gonna be our anchor here. Right leg will kick back as we pass. 45 seconds. All right, you ready? Set, and go. So come down, pass your weight. Remember, see if you can get that heel, pinky, and big toe. Flatten it out, drive through it. That leg doesn't need to come super far back. Work on squaring those hips up to the ground. There you go. You're also gonna be right here. Kick stand. You're still gonna feel it in that left leg, the leg that's straight forward. Keeping that knee nice and soft. You've got it. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, final move of this series. We're gonna go back to that lateral step. But if you press your weight this time, we come, we're gonna rotate, okay? So lateral squat, rotate. We're gonna open up those hips. Do a little rotation in here. So pivot, that heel, the opposite heel, up, okay? So step, pivot. So you can do as many squats here as you want to. Lateral move side to side. So a little rotation again. Grab that weight here. You wanna add a little extra resistance. 45 seconds in three, two, and one. So side squat, we're gonna pivot. Ooh, you do extra squat here. So make sure you do move laterally, and then once you come up to that squat, we're gonna throw in that rotation, okay? So you can add in a couple extra, stay low here. Try to make it a powerful movement. There we go. Breathe through it. So again, you can step, Squat, pivot, reset, step, squat, pivot, and stay low. Keep that core engaged, pop that heel up. Three, two, and one. Nice work. That takes us through our first round. So we have one more round, it's gonna look just like that. I want you to challenge yourself here. So maybe you add on a different piece to that lunge, that drop off. Maybe you did the kickstand, try to lift that foot up a little bit, that single leg. We've got one more round to try some new things, okay? So grab some water, towel off. Hopefully you guys are getting a nice sweat going. So even though this is a low grade strength workout, you can still get a great cardio workout from it and still sweat and feel like you're taking on the world here. All right. So back from the top, we're gonna take that weight 
Um, and just a little reminder here too, if you don't want, if you feel like you're gonna slunge, that that weight is too low, you can always add a little bit of an elevation, whether if you have a few books, you could lift it up so that weight, you wouldn't have to go as low to pick up that weight. Um, that's also why I like using the kettlebell, because it doesn't sit as low to the ground as the dumbbell does, okay? All right, right side. So we're gonna grab that weight, get ready, in three, two, and here we go. So take it back, drop that weight off. You've got that knee and that kick knee. Pick that weight up, stand. Squeeze those glutes. Drop the weight off, knee, add that kick. Come down, pick your weight up. You got this. So you can move at your speed here. I like to kind of go nice, slow and control to make sure I've got some good quality form here. In three, two, and one. All right, move number two. Single leg, deadlift with that pass. So this side's a little tougher for me than my left. So you've got your kickstand, you can elevate that leg, but remember to help prevent that, that loss of balance, don't bring that leg up as high. We're focused on square the floor. So when we come down, we can try to keep those shoulders level, those hips level, and try not to open up too far, okay? It's gonna be better on those hips, better on the leg. All right, 45 seconds. Ready? Plant those feet. Here we go. All right, bring it down, pass it off, step back in. So concentrate on this one. This is a really big mental exercise. What helps me is finding a spot to focus on as I'm passing that weight. And that's gonna help me keep that foot planted a little bit better so I'm not as thinking about it as much. Whew, so then I just kinda of recall about my foot position, threw me off a little bit. So find something to focus on, get your head in the game, reset when you need to. And time, all right. We've got your weight, I'm gonna switch out to a little bit of a lighter one for this lateral step. We've got that press, the lateral step squat. Three, two, here we go. So step and press. Try to keep the distance and the feet the same. That press is optional, so you can stay right here with me. Really work on that good quality squat. You also can set that weight down. It's a big step. Squeeze, okay? Other side, come down, squeeze. After this one, we are halfway through. You can do this. I believe in you. Let's finish this workout together. Less than 10 seconds here. So maybe try to add that press. Core tight, protect that back, and time. There it is. High five, guys. All right, now we gotta make it even. We gotta get to that left side with that split lunge drop off, as well as that single leg deadlift pass. All right, so grab that weight. So that left leg is going back, that right leg is staying forward. In three, two, and go. Step back, drop it off. Come together, stand up. There you go. Beautiful, there it is. So by bringing that knee up, it's a good challenge too, to get it above that weight. So you can be right here. Still a great challenge from that balance. You can even hold that leg a little longer. So that time, is a wonderful thing because you can really focus on that area that you need to focus on. Three, two, and one. All right, single leg deadlift. Pass that weight. Get those eyes set on a prize, all right? Maybe it's that water. It's a wonderful prize after you work out, getting hydrated. All right, so our kickstand, we're taking that leg up. 
I'm going to go and turn to the side here for you guys. So you can see me trying to fight that rotation here. All right, 45 seconds in three, two, and go. So you come down, pass that weight. Keep that core engaged right here. Bring it back in. Breathe through it. So you can have your little kickstand. Give me that nice hip hinge here. Beautiful. And we're still getting a little bit of shoulder work by packing those shoulders, keeping that upper body nice and strong as well. There you go. Come on, fight through it. In three, two, and one. All right. We've got that lateral squat from the rotation. So I'm going to change my weight. I like using a dumbbell for these because you can really hold the sides. It's a little bit more comfortable for me personally. If you've got that kettlebell, you can still hold it upright. You can still press it out. Whatever works right here for you. So we can step, squat with that rotation. You can stay low, rotate. So make sure we're pivoting through, protecting those knees. All right. Final 45 seconds right here. Three, two, here we go. Here we go. Chest up nice and tall. You can add that press here as well. We've got this, come on. Breathe through it. Keep moving. That little booty burn. Feel those quads, feel those glutes. Burning right here. I feel those hamstrings, and those single deadlifts. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Set those weights down. If you already have your mat out, go ahead and grab that mat. We're gonna roll it out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heavier weight here to assist me with some resistance. We're gonna come down to the mat this next series before we cool down. All right, we've got two moves, all right? We're gonna start with a Glute bridge. We're gonna challenge ourselves here a little bit. We're gonna keep one leg lifted, okay? We've got 20 seconds. We've got single leg glute bridge. Just take care of that setup first. Get those hips back and down on the mat, okay? We'll start with the left leg straight. So, sorry, right leg straight. So, left leg is gonna be bent, flat on the floor, hands up to the side, lift that foot up, do the press and lower, okay? If you wanna add a little bit of resistance here, you can add that weight, but you're not gonna be able to hold those hands up to the side, so it's gonna be a little harder, because it's gonna be less stability, okay? 20 seconds. When we finish our 20 seconds here, all right, we are going to rotate to our right side. We are gonna be in a elevated side plank. Stack those heels, stack those knees, stack the hips. We're gonna lift up, Get the elbow on the shoulder. We got an elevated clamshell, okay? Squeeze core, squeeze the glute medius right here. 20 seconds, back down. Single leg glute bridge on the other side, clamshell on the other side, okay? We're gonna go through at least two rounds, all right? So let's get in position. Let's tuck those hips, all right? The right leg straight up, hands to the side where that weight is on those hips. In three, two, and go, so 20 seconds. Squeeze those glutes, drive it up. Try to keep that foot flat towards the ceiling. You got it. In three, two, and one. All right, quick transition here. Let's get that elbow under the shoulder. Stack those heels, stack those knees, 
Cut those legs back just a little bit. All right, lift up into that plank. Clamshells, ready, set, and go. We're trying to keep everything stacked. Shoulders, hips, knees, and feet. You're gonna place that top hand here on the outside of your hip. You can feel the glute medius working. Squeeze, so try to lift up your leg with this muscle right here. Draw that belly button in. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna rotate over so I can still face you guys when I come to that next clamshell. We're gonna go to the bridge on the other leg. So plant that right leg down, tuck those hips, lift that left foot up in the air. Add that weight if you want to here. 20 seconds in three, two, and go. So lift, squeeze, back down. There we go. Reposition that foot if you need to, but keep things tight right here. If you notice some space coming up from that back, pause, reset. You can go to a regular glute bridge right here. So you can do two sets of regular glute bridges. So we're still able to make it even and rest. All right, clamshell, that right leg coming up. All right, so we got that elbow under the shoulder. Again, stacking all those joints. Ready, set, and go. So lift. There it is, nice work. If you do have a mini band at home, you can always add this to this exercise as well, because you can use it for both the bridge and this clamshell, so you won't have to worry about taking it on and off. So that would be a new challenge you could do with this workout next time. And rest. All right, we keep about 20 seconds here. Just kind of shake, shake it out a little bit, a little break. We're gonna go through that one more round each move. So we've got to start back from the top, with that single leg glute bridge with the right leg up in the air, okay? We've got one more round of each, and then we're gonna stretch it out. We've got this, you guys. We're almost there. All right, so tuck, get that leg up. 20 seconds, ready, set, and go. So lift, lower. So remember here, you can have both legs down. You can complete a regular glute bridge. You can add a little elevation. Maybe you have some books near a wall. You can put your feet, your heels on it to elevate this bridge. Tons of different ways you can challenge this move. Let's make it a little more fun. All right, and rest. All right, rotate towards the leg you just had that was straight in the air. All right, feel these hips. Shoulders, get ready, set, and go. So lift, here we go. Let's get those wonderful clamshells in right here. These are great moves to do to really warm up before any leg day. Sometimes this muscle gets a little bit, is a little underactive. So it's a great way to get some more blood flow, Get your muscles moving the way they should be to help with your muscle imbalances and help prevent injury and rest. All right, single leg, root bridge, other leg. All right, let's tuck those hips back. Ready, set, and go. Let's lift it up. Remember that weight is optional here. You just We'll lose those hands a little bit, okay? So it's gonna be a little more of a challenge. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last side plank with glute bridge. All right, stack it all up. Ready, set, here we go. This is your last one for the day. Let's really fire up that glute medius right here. So squeeze up top. Come on. Keep that core engaged. Let's go. In three, two, and one. Nice work, 
work, you guys. Wonderful job. All right, let's do a couple stretches here. We're gonna start with a pigeon. So I'm gonna have you get in a plank position, okay? We're gonna take the right leg, we're gonna bring it up and across, okay? So I'll face you guys so you can see this first one. So, we have the right leg, bring it up and across. We're gonna use the other leg to kind of scoot it back a little bit. Now, you may feel a great stretch right here. Stay here, don't let that hip sink, keep it lifted. If you need to deepen this stretch, you can come down to those forearms or even all the way down to the ground. So go ahead and hold that position if that feels good for you. If you feel like that position is a little hard to stay into, you also can do this position standing, using your couch, okay? Using a little elevation. So you can actually, I'll just kind of show you from the side, I won't actually bring it up here. But say I face this table here, I can lift this leg up and across. And that's gonna give me a great stretch as well. So I like to call that one the standing pigeon. Go ahead and take that right leg back, that plank, switch sides, and you might notice one side is a little tired than the other. That's also normal, okay? But it's also why it's important to make sure we stretch after our workouts so we get our body warm and ready before to prevent injury. But also doing these stretches also helps prevent injury as well. Probably lengthen those muscles after we got super tight and worked super hard for us today. All right, bring those hands, tuck the toe, bring those legs back up. Let's go ahead and come to a standing position. We're gonna finish out with a standing hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna tuck those hips. Just like we did in the beginning, we did that kneeling version, we're just gonna do the standing version. We're sinking down and forward just a little bit. Open those hips up. Switch sides. Tuck, sink down forward. Deep breath. Bring it back in. All right, we're gonna come down nice and easy. We're reaching down towards those toes, keeping a soft bend in those knees. Only coming as far as it feels comfortable for you. But you may notice as you fall into the stretch a little further, as you breathe through this movement, you might feel like you can get a little bit further into the stretch. That's why it's also important to hold stretches for at least 30 seconds. Those muscles will start to relax a little bit for you. Slowly ragdoll up nice and easy. Let the head do the last thing. It comes up nice and tall. All right, you guys, you killed this workout today. Thanks for doing the lower body strength workout with me, Coach Elena. Hope you guys liked it. Comment below. Um, we hope you have a great rest of your day. And you killed this workout. You finished it all the way through the end. You made it. You did a great job. So thank you for taking this time out of the day for yourself. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.